When you see a scar, there is evidence that something happened before. And a scar is reminding of whether you are a good man or you are a foolish one. And God has given us this message today to make us to understand that because we are Christians, we forget yesterday. There are scars, but it is not an issue anymore. Amen? Salamat ha. May soon, manindog ta atong i-welcome ang atong missionary from Vietnam. Everybody stand. Welcome, Bal Jonathan Ganyares. Lingkod, lingkod. Salamat. Thank you for the very warm welcome. And uh, I'm always, I'm always humbled every time I am asked to preach before you. And I always believe with all my heart that I'm standing here before you as a missionary only because of the grace of God. And it's good to be back, although it's not so good. Kay nasa hospital karon si Gingging, ang asawa. Kuha na yun tanan, ang sa'y terma na, ng kuhaon ng matres o bari. Ha? Basta ka na siya, gikuha tanan. So, ah, Hopefully, wala na yung problema. Okay? It's a recurring problem for, for many, many years. Sige sakit, sige pa-check up, sige uli diri, balik na sa mission field, na gasto kayo. So, hopefully, wala na yung problema. Humana yun na siya. So, salamat sa katung mga nag-pray sincerely. And salamat sa, sa financial help nga mong nadawat gika ninyo. Dako kayo ang tabang sa simbahan. Bisan sa mga sauna pa na mo ng mga medical problems, bisan sa akong operation sa tuhod, dako kayo ang tabang, dako kayo mong tabang financially sa mua. And your prayers also is uh, making a difference for us. And uh, we've been in the field for since uh, 2004, so that's 14 years. So I'm going to uh, give just a summary just to save time. Uh, some are old pictures, some are recent, but uh, we are there in Vietnam to fulfill the Great Commission. And just like uh, this church is fulfilling the Great Commission, we are also fulfilling the Great Commission there, but it is in a restricted context because it's not like here in the Philippines, it's a communist country. So let's look at the next uh, slide. The Great Commission starts with Teach All Nations. And that means we uh, preach the gospel, preach the good news, tell the people that it is the Lord Jesus Christ who can save us. Next slide, next slide, please. Okay. In a restricted, in a restricted context,
As we go now to the preaching of God's Word, Jeremiah chapter 18. Verses 1 to 6. And I'll ask you please to read responsibly. Ladies first and then the men. Okay? Verse 1. Jeremiah 18. Verse 1 to 6. Okay, verse 1. Ladies, ready, go. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this uh, great privilege that we could study your word openly. We thank you, Lord, that you have gathered us again, and we believe, Lord, that you have a message for us this afternoon, Father. Father, we ask, Lord, for your forgiveness, and we ask, Lord, the cleansing power of the blood of your Son to cleanse our minds and our hearts and to cover us, Lord. And we expect, Lord, that it is the Holy Spirit that will move in our midst. And we ask you, Lord, to speak to us and make this message, make your word personal to us. To refresh us, to change us, to encourage us, Lord, and to change our lives. And may your name be glorified, Lord, through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everyone be seated. Let's look at the next picture. Okay. That pot, that pot is the most expensive pot in the world. How many of you can guess how much is it? Approximately how much? It is worth 18 million U.S. dollars. If you convert that to Philippine peso, it's a bright math there. Yeah. That is worth almost one billion pesos. One billion pesos, just for that pot. It is an imperial jar of the Ming Dynasty in the 15th century. And it is considered the most precious pot in the world. Before it became precious, it went through a process. And the same process mentioned in the text that we have read. And it's the same, it's a similar process that we as God's people also must go through. And if you look in verse 6 of the text that we have read, it says there, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? And you can replace house of Israel with your name in there. And it continues, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. And you can also replace your name there in the house of Israel. So that it says, O oh, Gilbert, O oh, John, O oh, Jonathan, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O oh, house, of, oh, I mean, O oh, Jonathan. Okay? So let's look at this. Three things. Three things that is involved in the process as God molds us, as God the potter molds us, the clay. Okay? First, 
there's repeating. Okay, if you look in verse 3, find the phrase, the wheels. Okay, let's look at the picture. Okay. If you're not familiar of how a pot is made, first there's a piece of clay and it is placed in the wheel. Okay? And that wheel keeps on turning. Next picture. Okay? And with the hand of the potter, the potter molds the clay that keeps on turning in the wheel. Okay, next picture. Okay? Until it is formed into the shape uh, ganahan sa potter. Okay? And if you notice, okay, this is not a video, but if you imagine the wheel turning and there the hand of the potter molding the clay. Okay? There is the motion of the wheel. Without the motion of the wheel, the pot can never be formed. And how does the wheel, how does the wheel move? It keeps on repeating the same motion. So, godere, mubali, mutuyok, balik na sa sinugdanan. And again, and again, and again, and again. Repetition. Do you remember the story of the people of Israel? When God sent them manna from heaven, na? how many years were they eating manna? Pilan man ka years. Forty years. Na nagkaon sila, balik, balik, pamahaw, snacks, paniudto, snacks, panihapon, kung ganaan sila mag midnight snacks, manna. Balik, balik, kadaad lang. And has that ever crossed your mind? Because it crossed my mind. Saro naman sa nang ginuwa yun sa kahatag o glaing flavor, no? I mean, kung ako ang ginuwa, dili ma ako ginuwa, pero kung sa akong limited, limited mind, kung ako ang ginuwa, lain-lain sa siguro ang flavor. No, mana nga, Puchero flavor, manang uh, adobo flavor, manang uh, kimchi flavor, manang uh, seafood flavor. Ano sa siguro? And for a long time, nana sa niglinger wala na ako seryoso ha. Pero it lingered in my mind. And one day, nagdinner me, ipangutan na ako ako ng asawa. Kay Kay numdumo ang Israel, ni complain sila, di ba? Ano sila nga kapuyan sa gigaw na ning manay, mumalik na nata sa Egypt kay naa didto yung mga cucumber, mga onions, sa patay lang gihisgutan nito no. Tungod sa ilang kapuol sa mana, mubalik na lang sila sa slavery. Inaato sila ka lagot sa ilang kapuol sa mana, sige ka og mana kada adlaw. So akong gipangutana akong asawa, ging. Kung ikaw usa ka didto sa mga people of Israel ba? Mureklamo sa ka ka? Ang tubag ni Gingking, wa, dito sa ikan ng second thoughts, dito sa ikan ng apil dito ko reklamo. <laughs> Yan na nga, kung may dinner, higop pag si, sabaw, ha? o sa dito ko sa reklamo, higop sabaw. Yung mga sabi, makaminyo, taga ng salbahison kamay, no? Huwag <laughs> <laughs> ko guys, speak bang Reklamador ng mga sawa de. <laughs> Atong gilibak kayo, eh, mga siya diri. <laughs> Ay na mga saba ato rin eh, kita naman diri. <laughs> Pero muti tubag sa mga sawa. Apil juga reklamo eh. You know, it's, it sounds funny. And many times we condemn the people of Israel because they complained about the mana. Pero if we examine ourselves, in Anna, sa siguro tao eh. Repetition. Kainumdu mo sa time nga 
wala pa mo yung trabaho. Nagampo mo yung trabaho. Lord, tagay ko yung trabaho. Gitagaan ka yung trabaho. Lipay kayo. Ay, salamat kayo, Lord. Hilak pa ka. Nagakos pa mo sa iyong best friend. Kayo naanak kayo trabaho dyan. And then, trabaho ka. And then, it's the same routine every day. Every week. Every month. Every year. Munang inig Sunday evening. Muana na kag. Ay, lunis na sa. It's the same as the people of Israel. The same with kanang muskuila. High school or college, ampo ka nga, makapasar ka sa entrance, nga, makasuod ka sa college. Suod ka college, skuila na ka, high school. Na. Lipay pa ka primero, but after many weeks, the same routine, every day, every week, every month, wana na ka, ay, klase na sa Bakasyon mo, no? Bakasyon pa? Ugma, wala na yung bakasyon. Oh. Pila man ninyo niya, nag, ay, klase na sa Parehas na nas people of Israel. Walay kalahian. Mga minyo. Banag asawa. Sa nanguyab pa ang laki, kuy, bisag-unsa na lang ipang saan. Napabay mo saan, rog, mga bituon, nag buwan. Sa mga ibang saan na sa modern, mga millennials, sa mga isaad sa mga millennials, gano'n. Ha? Travel, da. travel na siguro. Also, nang travel sa mga millennials, na travel, tas, kung ako ang imong sudun, mo travel ta dito sa Paris, London, Germany. Isugot ka, nagminyo mo, lipay kayo mo, pasalamat mo sa gino, sa blessing, sa kaminyoon. And then years passed. The same face that you see. <laughs> Suga nilang katawa eh. Seryoso na matawa ko ah. The same face. Inigmata sa buntag. Mao nga nao nga ng hupong o mga muta. Nga kalkag ang buhok. Every morning. Diyo na siya. Napailaway na rin puti na, 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 na ang unlan sa dako king laway to marka kada buntag na lang Jonas ya inig uli sa hapon man nagtrabaho ana kung housewife ang asawa inig sugat na nimahong ahos bumbay unsa pa na di mga lamas gingiwa ito sa asawa ah, welcome kung nagtrabaho in taon bahong tambutso Kay sakay og jeep or habal-habal or unsa kay gisakyan. The same thing every day, every week, every month, every year for many, many years. Unya kadtong na minyuan nga sa bayntihon pa, hamis pa, hugot wala pa dire baby fat, wala pa bilbil. Sa una, na, anak pa sa una, karoon na bali na anak. <laughs> anak, karoon, anak. <laughs> Deep inside, puula na ni. And then you're not surprised, daghan kang kaso nga, nailaing babae. No? Ay puol naman. Balik-balik. Balik-balik na lang jud. Lain na sad. No? Dili na lang man sad. Lain na sad nga putahi. So ang the same nga lalaki nga bisag unsa na lagi saad. 
after many years, wala na. Ilisdan, pasakitan. No, mga inaanang lalaki, wajoy, puangod para na ako eh. Angay nga lang mga inaanang lalaki, mo itukhangon. <laughs> Luoy kayong babae, wag eh. Paasa. Nawa na joy lain. Uman, kung di na ganaan, napula na, ilisdan na lain. Mainin nyo tukhangon. But you know, the, some of the best things that God gives us are in repetition, are repetitive. You know, even the Word of God. And like, ikaw man yung basa so sa, sa Bible, balik na sa gamor, man siya. Even the theme of the messages. More man siya, faithfulness, love, sin, salvation, eternal security. It's repetitive. No, trabaho, na-mention na to, trabaho, ang work, even ang marriage. It's repetitive. But it is the repetition that makes us better people. You know, kanang balik-balik na tugdungog sa pulong sa ginoo, it makes us better people. Did it make you a better person? Kanang skwila, mata sa iyo, Sakay yung jeep, oron sa, tuon, uli, tuon na sa, tugog sa iyo, matag sa iyo, maol, balik-balik, balik-balik. It's repetitive, but walang takabantay, it made us into better people. We were trained, we were disciplined, na mo mata, mo atong work habit, na mold, and we became better people. Bisa ng trabaho, You know, mo deal kag mga tao nga di ka ganahan sa opisina, but you just go through with it every day, every single day of your life. And then walang kakabantay, it changed you. You became more patient. Na? And uh, you know how to deal with people. And even sa marriage, nga balik-balik ka makakita sa imong asawa, imong bana, nga nausab na ang naong sa una gwapa, karon di na kayo. Sa una gwapo, karon upaw na lagog tiyan. Ang ataktak ng buho, hastang ipon ang ataktak na sad. But if you go through all these repetition, even sa marriage ngay na na You learn how what is what commitment is all about. And you'll understand how God, how the Lord Jesus Christ loved his church. You remember the verse? Husbands, love your wives as Unsaman. The Lord Jesus Christ loves the church. Okay? That means, bisag dili perfecto ang mga members sa church. The Lord Jesus Christ loves every one of us. And it's the same with our marriage. Bisag dili na dili perfecto atong asawag, asawag bana, we continue to love. Not as a feeling but as an action. And when we learn, when we truly learn to do that, then we become better servants of God. Are you still following me? When we learn to love unconditionally, dilita magtanaw sa physical, then we become better servants of the Lord. Imagine na lang kung magsulwining ka, yung araw niyo, 
dako man sa ilong. Yan kung padayon na niyo eh. At ito ka na ikaw na ito eh. Guwapa dito ka doon na ako ah. Ang sao na lang ang inana no? Or ang pastor, ang iyang tag doon, kanarang mga dato, mga guwapo, mga guwapa, mga successful. Ang sao na siya. It is the repetition that teaches us how to be a better person and how to be a better servant of God. And when we go back to the people of Israel, we can understand why God did not change the flavor of manna. Because there is no other way to go through life It is only through repetition we experience repetition in life. O gituyo naghatag sa ginu so that we become better people, we become better servants of God. Even if we do not like the process. You know, I remember the first time we arrived in the mission field. Primero na mong tugpa dito man sa Cambodia. Huwag kang nisugat na mo si Pastor Lomer Hope, Bila Cruz. And I remember si Gaius, na mga Dila Cruz diri ran? Ah, wala sila diri. Alibak ko na to, wala mo sila diri. Ay mo magsaba, ato ato lang diri. Si Gaius, nga, siguro two years old pa, si Gihag Hungit ni Ma'am Grace, O, sa ito yung hihungit basta. Sige, hihungit ba? Sige, hilag. Sige, yun. Sige, sige. I don't like. I don't like. Wala. Hungit. Musap mo. I don't like. Hungit na saan? I don't like. Hang to, nga nakurot ang bowl. Bisa gihugasan na ang bowl. Sige, kaya po ganag. I don't like. Ton. Pagkaugma, mawag na saan. I don't like. Ano ito ka rin ha? Himsog kayo, no? It's the same with us. Sige, tagalang sa gilo. I don't like. I don't like trabaho. I don't like school. Alabi na dyan ang Bible students. Pila kang... Kung sa manon, same break, no? So wala pa enrollment para sa second sem. Ang bot, kung pila yun, di na mo balik. Kaya, I don't like. But if we just go through that, himsug kayo ang baga-Kristuhan. Himsug kayo ang servant sa gino if we go through the repetition. Don't lose this verse. Use your bookmark if you have one. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Verse 25. First Corinthians 9.25 And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Notice the word mastery. And this, the context is about an athlete na mo compete in a tournament. No, we are, we are all familiar with sports. Okay, nang lang sila mag-practice, aron makadaog. This is the context. Unsa saan man pag-practice, aron makadaog. Kung runner, kapila mag-practice. Once a year, di kadaog siguro kung once a year. Eh. Kata adlaw siya na siya. Balik-balik pa dyan, tuyo ko sa oval na siyang praktisa na. Tuyo ko sa oval, siguro mag-squat, siguro na i-weights gamay. Balik-balik dyan na siya. Pili na pwede nga, kausara, mudagan ko sa oval. Kausa, once a year. Ah, di dyan ka daw, gong yun na. It's the same with life. Mastery. God gives us repetition 
so that we become masters. We become better people. We become better servants of God. So, in the process of making the pot, there is repeating or there is repetition. Number two in the process is wrecking. Go back to Jeremiah chapter 18, verse number 4. And find the word marred. Are you there? Yeah. Jeremiah 18.4, find the word marred. Yeah. Marred means corrupted. Corrupted. And if you look at the verse again, verse 4, marred where marred in the hand of the potter do you remember our favorite verse for eternal security john chapter 10 verse 28 to 29 who holds us we are in god's hand that's why we are eternally secure go back to this verse we are corrupted in the hand of the potter. We are eternally secure, but many times the Christian is corrupted. Are you still listening? Yeah. What corrupts a secured, an eternally secured Christian? Okay, we're still in Jeremiah 18. Look in verse 11. Find the words evil, evil way. Because what corrupts an eternally secure Christian is sinfulness. Are we examining our lives? Because sinful ways will corrupt a Christian. What else? Verse 2. Look in uh, verse number 2, verse 12, I mean. Look at verse 12. And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices and we will everyone do the imagination of his evil heart. Now just imagine in verse, in verse 11, God warned the people of Israel. In verse 12, the people of Israel said, We will walk after our own devices. We will everyone do the imagination of his evil heart. That is stubbornness. We know what is God's will. We know what is the chastisement that follows after disobeying God. But still, we disobey God. That is stubbornness. Number three, verse, uh, verses 14 and 15. What corrupts an eternally, eternally secure Christian? Look in verse 14. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock of the field? Or shall the cold flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken? Verse 15. Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths, to walk in paths in a way not cast up. Here's what the verse is saying. The Christian leaves the wonderful, the refreshing fellowship of the Lord. Look at verse 14. Snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock of the field. Now, fresh water, cold water. Look at the verse again. And shall, or shall the cold flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken? You know, 
a Christian leaves the wonderful and refreshing fellowship of the Lord. For what? Verse 15. Because of vanity. Do you see it? What is referred here? Vanity. These are idols. What is referred here are idols. You know, we may not be worshiping mga statua, mga niagi lang ang All Saints Day. We may not be worshiping mga ribulto. But in our lives are many idols. And these idols are the things that we love more than God. Are we examining our hearts? Are there anything in our hearts that we love more than God? Because that is vanity. And because of that thing, you have left the fellowship, the refreshing, comforting, and wonderful fellowship of the Lord. Is it a relationship? Is it a job? Is it money that we love more than God? And idols also is something we trust other than God. Are we trusting something else other than God? Could be a job. It could be your bank account. Could be another person. Nga sige na ni mo pangutang. Magsige mo sa pagutang. And you trust that person more than God. And you have left the wonderful fellowship of the Lord because of that. An idol also is something that makes you turn away from the way of the Lord, which is mentioned here in verse 15. They have caused them, if you look at the last part, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths to walk in paths in a way not cast up. What are those things that cost you not to follow the way of the Lord? Is it a relationship, a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Kadaghan sa mga Christians. Na dugay-dugay naman jud siguro ko rin, giuban naman ko. Pila ka Christians, members diri. Wa na diri. Ni backslide na. Because of relationships. Corrupted. Eternally secure. But corrupted. And it is a part of the process that when, when God molds a Christian. Because we are not perfect. Every one of us will fall one way or another to sin. Do you agree? Yeah. I would admit. Yeah. We fall one way or another to stubbornness. Kibaw ko ta sa yup. Kibaw ta sa chastisement sa ginoo. Kibaw ta sa natural consequences ala. But still we continue to do it stubbornness and dryness did i mention dryness dryness no something that blocked our fellowship with the lord we become spiritually dry okay so as the as the wheel is turning again and again and again and the lord is forming the clay when he feels the mar, when he feels the corruption, it could be a stone which may represent our sins. Kaya ang stone, it does not belong in the clay. Na? Kung mag-form kag pot, kaya lang lang pure yun ang isang clay. Wala yung mga gagmayang stone. Bisa gamay kay nga stone, madaot na na siya. Also, kung ang clay mugahi, 
tungod kay dry na kay siya. Dili na na siya mapurma sa unsay desire sa pater. Na? Stubbornness, mugahi. Dryness, spiritual dark, the dryness, mausad sa clay, mo dry siya. So, unsa may buhaton sa ginoo? Number three. We go to number three of the process. Are you still in Jeremiah 18? Look in verse 4. And the last part. And find the phrase, So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Okay, so notice, notice the phrase carefully. Okay, because every word counts. God did not say, so he made again another vessel. He said, so he made it again another vessel. So it makes a difference there. That means the same path nga corrupted Iyanggi balik sa uno. Na? Nakafeel siya na stone or nigahi na. Na dry na siya. Imbis na purma na ta ito gamay, iyanggi balik, iyanggi guba, iyanggi gihimong lingi na sa. It's the same with our Christian lives. When God finds sinfulness and we become stubborn unya dry na kayo atong spiritual life god will break us i think most of us know the the, the verses about god chastening whom he loveth because this is what the verse is all about because he loves us, nakafeel man siya bato sa mga gahimo, unta siya nindot, iyang plano nindot ka yung apat, pero nai bato, or ni gahi na, or ni dry na nga di na siya mapurma, bungkago na lagbalik. And let that be a warning to all of us. Magsaligta, loving mga kayong ginoo. Merciful, because it's true. We experience that in our lives. Gracious, we commit a sin. God shows His mercy and grace. His grace, makafilta na kalusot mago. Ni padayon ka sa imong sinfulness, stubbornness, o dryness. Himoon pa ni mong example si King David. As King David Ganil, that was King David, oh. a man after God's own heart. Ako sa linana, sa go. Sayup na nga pagsabot sa Biblia, oi. Because God's grace, what's the meaning sa grace? It's a favor. You cannot demand a favor. Last year, ang disgrasya ko, nihatag mo sa tanan akong kinanglan noon sa pag-upira. That is a favor. Karun nga na hospital si Gingging, I cannot demand. Sa una mga last year, karun sa taga, isag ko sa tanan akong kinanglan noon. I cannot do that. Because it's a favor. God showed King David favor, special favor. And if you study closely, napatoy verse ng gisulti ang ginoo nga, kitagaan, tikagdaghang asawa, kung nangayo, pagkag mur nga asawa, tagaan pa unta ka. That was favor. Kung anong inato ang favor sa ginoo, I, I don't know. But He is God. We cannot question that. We cannot demand. Ngang iyang ibuhat ni David buhaton sa tua. 
Because there are clear verses. Yan nagingon nga kung makasalata, it says in ta sa ginoo. Dagang verses nga gaingon kung makasalata, dili ma-please ang ginoo. Dagang verse nga gaingon na kung makasalata, publicly, mga kita dagang tao, gahi na kay tago, maguba ang atong testimony, maguba ang pangan sa ginoo. Kanang mga klaro, mauna atong sundun. Dili na ito i-pattern na itong kinabuhi. Sa kinabuhi ni King David, lahi man ito iya, kinabuhi. But make no mistake. Kung magpadayon ang atong sinfulness, magpadayon atong stubbornness, magpadayon atong dryness, God will break us. Kung mo break ang ginoo, dili ra ba na siya kusi ba? Kusi. So ayun, hindi kusi ba? Ano, kusi ra ba? Nakasa ka, kusi ra. Ngisi ra ka. Kuy lain-lain na bang paagi ang pag-break sa ginoo. Are you still listening? Lahig-lahig paagi ang pag-break sa ginoo niya. Ang hungi ang pag-break. Pirti yung sakita. Saan na lang? Ayaw na lang paabuta nga i-break. But what is wonderful is that when He breaks us, it is not to destroy us. Look at the verse again. Verse 4. So he made it again into what? Another vessel. Which means when he breaks us, his intention is to make us into another person. A better person. A better servant of God. Dili to condemn us, but to make us better. So why am I preaching this missionary? Matanda siya. Anong wala man siya mga 1040 windows, mga pilay populations kalibutan, mga unta, ngayang wali unta ka na, unta mga lift up your eyes na, unta no? no? Siguro in another time I will preach about those things. But you know, Bisag unsa pa ipakita diya nga pictures, bisag mutambling pa kudriya sa missionary to encourage you to become servants of God or to become missionaries or to become pastors. If our lives are marred, if there's sinfulness and stubbornness and hardness, dili magamit sa ginoo. Can we take a look at the picture? Kalimutas dun dun ng preso. Because when he breaks us, balik ta sa inana. Pila ninyo nakasuway nga nagluto o paksiyo sa inana? Inana ba? Clay pa siya lingin. Basa pa. Wala pa na puro mang clay. Nakasuway mo. Nakasuway mo, inom, mag tubig, ha? inana. Clay, lingin pa. Wala pa siya na puro ma. Suway ko nun ninyo. Pangita mo, clay. Nga. Lingin pa. Tanga nyo yung tubig. Wala mo, inom mo. Cannot use it. The Bible tells us that we stand in the gap. Sa ginoo, o sa unbelievers, ma-reconcile. We are there to fill the gap. Gamiton ta sa gino. Pero I don't think God can use us kung nagsigit balik-balik sa inana nga stage na itong kinabuhi. Imagine kung kitang tanan, inana, unsaon paggamit sa gino. Unsa ganyan ng verse? It says, vessels, there are vessels of honor. God wants to use vessels of honor. Ugdili inana. So I don't know, I don't know your lives. I cannot see your hearts. 
But if there are sinfulness and stubbornness and dryness, nga gibalik-balik na lang ta sa ginoo, nga inana na lang stage kanunay. Maybe it's high time to stop it already. It's high time to stop ang mga ligoy-ligoy na siguro. And let's be serious with our relationship with God nga wala na na siyang mga sinfulness, stubbornness, o dryness at itong ginabuhi. Because there is a world that needs the Lord Jesus Christ. And then we're stuck in that stage. So I don't know what, what, what is in your heart right now. Pero kung na sinfulness and stubbornness and dryness, now is the time to deal with it here in the altar. Deal with it with the Lord. Let's close our eyes and bow down our heads as pastor gives the invitation. Where is bowed, eyes are closed. Everybody, bow your head, close your eyes. I do not need to you to answer, but I believe that you will bless by the message. We do, I do not need to tell you what I see in a person. I cannot. I cannot see your stubbornness. I cannot see your corruption. I cannot see your dryness. I cannot see anything that is defective in your Christian life. But you know very well that if you have these things, you can never be used by God unless you will be willing to come to the hand of the Father. If something happens like this to you and you live on the same stubborn, lazy, dry, corrupt Christian, you will be cast away, maybe put in the shelf because you can never be used. Makaisonan, tonight, I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. And if you will be honest with yourself, and you really want to be that kind of vessel that is useful to God, you will come to Him. Because only the vessel that is available to God will be useful to God. Tonight, I do not need to ask you to raise your hand or something like that. I just ask the men first as the music plays, Tanang Malaki Usa, come, stand to your feet. Go to the aisle and tell the Lord, Lord, I want you to remove my corruptness, my dryness, Lord, my stubbornness, even probably my laziness. Lord, I want you to remove it because I know it is not useful in the ministry. Lord, I know you cannot use me at all until these things are taken care of. And ladies, if you know in your heart, as the Holy Spirit tells you, you know in your heart that you have those things also, you come. It may be a little, to- a little stone of corruption, maybe a little stone of stubbornness, You need to come. Yes, God bless you. God knows very well what we need. And if ever judgment, we will, we will come to, the, in the, to God in judgment. He knows very well what was our beginning, what was our in-between, what was at the end of our life. You know the need that you have. And mother, father, young lady, mother, kung naa ana, you do not need to delay. You do not need to delay, dali. You come here to the front and tell the Lord exactly. Because God will be responsive to the need that you have. If you know that need and tell the Lord about it, He's going to take care of that. Anybody else stand? Go to the island, come, include you in prayer. Loving Father, our destiny cannot depend upon us. 
Our, our journey cannot depend upon us. Our beginning, we cannot do it ourselves. We have to be in your hands from the beginning until the end. And Lord, our journey will never be the same. It will never be the same if we are in your hands. Like the potter, mold us to the, to the shape and to the size that you want us to be. Because Lord, as you mold us to that size and, and shape, you know very well where we will be used by you in the ministry. We will be used for your glory and for your honor. These young men, young ladies here at the altar of the Lord, I know they are sincere and they are honest and they need to know that you will really make it to them the way that you have made in a potter. Lord, we desire confirmation of what we need to be. As we commit ourselves to you, the Lord, in, the, in your hand, mold us the way you want us to be and make us in that kind of vessel that just will fit the ministry and will be useful for your glory and for your honor. Oh God, we submit ourselves to you. This church can never stand in stubbornness. We will never blessing if we are corrupt. And Lord, if we dip away and die in our spiritual life, we will lose our impact, our influence with other people that we need to reach with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh God, thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit because he is the one that makes us to understand exactly who we are what we can be and what we will be in the future. Lord, we love you and we thank you for your wisdom and plans and thank you for this message. Thank you, Brother Jonathan. Lord, thank you, Brother Gignanis and his ministry in Vietnam. Lord, I pray that as we live every day, if there are things and times in our lives that we need remaking, please be willing, help us to be willing to submit ourselves in your hands. We bless you tonight and thank you for our people. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.